what up everybody i'm Jeannie. welcome back to magenta tarot messages today we're going to be doing about a reading about can you trust the person you are thinking of the most can you trust the person you're thinking of the most right now virgo i've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just begin the song i channeled for this reading is fertile soil by Laundriel. okay i might tag it in the comments um you don't have to go listen to this song but it is very prevalent to this reading i feel so all right let's tap in virgo see what i got here for you and let's see what's come out can you trust this person are they trustworthy uh, we're gonna do the first pile who is this person to you um what are they doing in your energy and then a positive outcome okay Who's this person to Virgo that they're wondering if they can trust? Who's this person to Virgo that they're wondering if they can trust? Okay, we got ancestral footsteps, aboriginal, finding spirituality, and native. We got ancestors, okay? All right, so with this energy, Virgo, this person could be related to you in some way. You could have um, roots together. That means you could have a family together. They could be part of your family, Um where this was a part of your spiritual steps, okay? This was something that may have been destined for you to, and this person, you and this person to be um, together in some way. Uh, I feel like there was some type of footsteps that was supposed to happen in your life. There was something faded that was supposed to happen in your life between you and this person, if they are not a sibling here, or you don't have a family with them. What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? We have spiritual powers, crown chakra, stars, and night. Again, with spirituality heavy in this reading, okay? Um, this person definitely has some type of spiritual tie to you. Whether that may be twin flame, um, past life, past life lover. It could be someone, um, a past on connection, past life connection here, soulmate connection here. Something to do with your spiritual powers, okay? What are they doing? I feel like they're helping you tap into your spiritual powers, Virgo. I feel like they're a big lesson. I feel like they are a catalyst to some type of crown chakra um, magic here, okay? Magenta magic. Um, anyways, uh, Virgo, this is the energy of somebody helping you really see things okay so if you have somebody in your life that like always disappointed you you needed that person in your life to know what disappointment feels like or to know that people sometimes disappoint you or uh what to look out for um people who may be fraudulent people who may be a liar there's something that this person is trying to teach you about intuition maybe listening to your spiritual powers tapping into recognizing energy there's something here about that all right, and positive outcome between Virgo dealing with this person. A positive outcome with Virgo dealing with this person. We got breathe in the reverse, hyperventilation, disorder, and panic in the reverse. Okay, so a positive outcome here, Virgo. Is you may be able to recognize what makes you panic okay or what a disorder is all right what with the hyperventilation hyperventil <laughs> hyperventilation you may be able to realize what uh what triggers you here i'm getting like a trigger here because when this card is in the upright you're breathing normally you're at peace you have no worries this is bliss energy i feel like a positive outcome is to see the disorder in something to see the panic in something to recognize the signs here there's something about signs what this person is teaching you okay all right let's see here who is this person for virgo ancestor energy who is this person for virgo who's this person virgo is thinking about if they can trust fangs energy sucker emotionally draining shadow self and negative person or environment 
okay um right off the bat Virgo you cannot trust this person okay um I feel like should we stop the reading here maybe um but uh yeah this is the energy of the spirit telling you uh this is somebody fated for you to encounter so you know what an energy sucker is you know what something that is emotionally draining is you know what a negative person a negative environment is this is somebody when you get around them you get real irritated okay you just don't fucking like them you ever been around somebody they're not even doing nothing right <laughs> they may not even be doing nothing but you don't fucking like them they could be breathing wrong in your energy and you just like mm -mm, something off okay they could be listening to a certain genre of music okay and you're just like why are you playing that like this is so irritating this is phony um you're a phony uh it's the energy of somebody when you get around them your uh, your energy is depleted afterwards you feel like they emotionally drained you and you barely even dealt with them right i feel like this is somebody who talks all the time here with the fangs and the mouth and the teeth you're always seeing the teeth um this is somebody who talks to you constantly always in your ear you're always you could be up texting this person all right wasting the time that you need to be healing recuperating uh working doing other things and this person is in your energy just polluting it with their negativity even if they may not be negative because i'm getting with the ancestor aboriginal uh spirituality energy this person could be real into spirituality or religion they could be really into um fancy talk i just heard <laughs> okay or just talking about it they could be really into being they have her nose pointed in the sky like um better than thou energy all right and they could really just be like a normal fucking person but there's something about them that is draining all right, what is this person doing in Virgo's energy? What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? Okay, this ring came out conflicting. So this is currently happening. This is something that you're currently dealing with. We have marital union, eternal love, long-term commitment, and meeting the perfect partner. All right, so I feel like, like I said, Virgo, this definitely could be that fell right on the right on the card where I was talking about twin flame soulmate energy. I feel like this person was meant for you to do something, but they're in a negative energy, Virgo. This person um, may have not be, there, there's something going on with this person that makes them this negativity because I feel like if this person was in a positive energy, if they were in the energy that they were supposed to have with you, this could have been a lover, right? This could have been somebody you could have had a union with. This could have been somebody you could have had a long-term commitment with. This could have been like the perfect person person or they were supposed to that's giving me twin flame energy here so i feel like this person is in your energy they may be conflicting with um trying to commit to you or being committed to you i feel like this is is, is giving trap energy okay i'm not gonna lie um somebody who wants to be committed to you but they may not give you a ring um it's some type of different commitment like they wanted to be a part of your life so they now are okay um i don't have a lot of good examples for that just like somebody who is like they are part of the family now um or want to be you ever have somebody who calls you cousin but they ain't your motherfucking cousin <laughs> y'all ain't related not one bit but they call you cousin um it's giving that energy or like a lover here um you have children with this person. There could be something that connects you to that is not uh, love or a marriage here, but it's a commitment. They're like in your spiritual energy. They're in your, I just heard North Node in your, in your Venus, in your Venus energy. Yeah, they were supposed to be a lover, but I'm hearing the song, uh, I forgot to be a lover. Dun, dun, dun. I forgot to be a lover. Um, I feel like this person, <laughs> they didn't even, look, I split the deck graduation and love. They were supposed to graduate into this love energy, Virgo, but I feel like something happened here. All right, something happened. Uh, panic energy, what's this positive outcome for this person being in Virgo's life? What's the positive outcome for this person being in Virgo's life? Okay, um, we got betrayal. 
all right betrayal disguise hidden enemies angry outbursts and cutting deep and then paired with that we have neptune control emotions power to manipulate and water journey all right so i feel like again this person was putting your life to show you somebody who has disorders okay somebody who is a hidden enemy all right if you get around somebody you start panicking you can't breathe right the air isn't right um i feel like this person they were supposed to show you something uh like if you get around somebody and your stomach start hurting or you, you get around something and your head start hurting and you just feel funny feel off i feel like there's some type of thing you may think is a disorder um you may think this is panicking you may think this is um something that's wrong with you anxiety or something but it's really a hidden enemy i feel like spirit is trying to show you who is really cutthroat around you virgo who has the power to manipulate you and what you give to uh, allow this person to take you on a journey um and uh, with the control emotions, I feel like spirit wants you to be able to control your emotions enough to know your body and know when these signs and synchronicities come up that is not a disorder, Virgo, but this person is actually an enemy. Okay, we have health concerns. I can't make this up. Health conscious, working out and dieting. So you may be feeling like, no, I just have anxiety. No, I'm just an anxious person. I'm, I'm a panic person. Maybe I'm overthinking. This person isn't outright doing anything, but I feel weird about their energy. Nah, they're, they're helping you tap into this um, spiritual power, okay? Into this, into this knowing of who you can trust and who you can't trust. I can't make it up. Who's two-faced? Who conflicts with your feelings? Why your tummy hurt when you're around this person and they smiling in your face, but you feeling like this after you leave? It's that type of energy, Virgo. This is to help you move, all right, to take the appropriate steps, to take action here. Because I feel like there's something that's running out of time, okay? Time is in the essence, I heard. I feel like they're wasting your time as well, all right? This could be somebody that you didn't even want in your energy, but now you find yourself wasting time talking to them, all right? Um, spending time with them, now they're in your energy and shit, and you... And you Allowing a negative person in your energy for a certain amount of time here. And this could bring, be bringing challenges to you. Okay, unexpected challenges. Um, you may just be annoyed the rest of the day after dealing with this person. There's something here about a challenge um, or needing to detach from something here. All right, and then we have success and victory. And I, I feel like this is why this is a positive outcome because uh, once you recognize that something isn't a disorder and somebody is an enemy and know what signs and synchronicities to look out for, Virgo, this will help you graduate. I can't make this up. Intuition, emotions, and inner knowledge. This will help you graduate, Virgo, okay? I feel like once you start seeing um, that this is not just something going on with your body, that nah, this person is really fucking negative, that once you get around these negative people, you instantly boss up. You instantly know that they shouldn't be around you. You instantly ghost these people. You instantly stop this intimate communication, all right? You follow your senses here. And this is going to lead towards a graduation, all right? Moving abroad, moving past this person here, Virgo, all right into freedom okay who's this person for virgo all right we got secrets that flew out okay we have love affair keeping things inside not opening up and illusions secrets here somebody is keeping stuff hidden from you they're a liar um what that who is this person for virgo cards came out for that energy we have gossip this is somebody what did i say about their mouth okay in communication okay big uh they keep your name in their mouth energy um they're always talking about you or always talking to you this is somebody who's very fucking petty and they're also talking shit about you and making you look like the fool in these conversations this is why they're emotionally draining to you even if this person comes and smiles in your face with the straightest whitest teeth all right in the fucking world here uh got not doing anything directly towards you that may make you feel like uh they're an enemy virgo they are that's the energy behind them and that's why you can't trust them that's why you feel like they're not trustworthy <laughs> all right that's why they energy off here virgo because they are talking shit about you this is your ancestors your guides warning you telling you your ancestors are here telling you baby uh something off about this energy and then we have conflict 
crashing conflict differences, incompatible, irreconcilable. You may have tried to reconcile with somebody, trying to keep it all cordial, all right, trying to keep it all, you know, lighthearted and fun. There's nothing that's really taking place, but their energy is still fucking off. It's because they're a phony, Virgo. This person has not stopped talking shit about you. They've not stopped being a negative person. They're just putting up a front here, a facade, all right? I just heard things keep on passing me by and -na -na -na. Hey, things keep on passing me by I feel like Virgo this person if you allow them to stay in your life look at the lust at the bottom if if you allow them to stay on, in your life I feel like this person will drain you and keep having things pass in your life like uh, they'll waste your time that's why time is of the essence while dealing with this person I feel like you're supposed to see feel and do something here Things keep on passing me by. The the initials F, G, and C could be significant. All right. Um, What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? Let me shuffle, okay? What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? Okay. Signs in the reverse, y'all. This is like, now we're getting into the... It's, it's getting into the flip the table energy i haven't said that in a minute and if you are a real og of this channel you know when i want to flip the table things are starting to synchronize a little too motherfucking much okay that's getting a little spooky ooky in here um but that's that energy signs in the reverse virgo i feel like their spirit is telling you is that you're not listening to the signs the repeated synchronicities the repeated numbers the repeated things that they're telling you about this person when it's in the reverse you're not picking up those energies you're not seeing the meaning Meaning of this person in your life you're not seeing the repeated uh the repeated things the spirit is trying to do to tell you about this person period and 11 11 talks about um the home space it talks about <clears throat> that twin flame energy again look at this and at the bottom focused on you only you <laughs> watching you there's no one like you Okay, I feel like this person is in your energy trying to keep you there, keep you with them, keep you in this clashing conflict with a negative fucking person. Okay, and they may be doing this by spinning a dream, putting up a facade, making you feel like, oh, I'll be there for you. I'll always be there for you. Heart eyes emoji. Okay, smiley face emoji, heart emoji all the time. Oh, I love it. You're the best. Oh, girl, you look good in that. But secretly, they turn around and they friends. You'd be like, you see Virgo's ass. You see, you see Virgo's gut. I mean, there's something that this person is like this. It's a big ass facade here. All right, and they may be doing this out of your vision. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. You cannot directly see how this person is an enemy. You cannot directly see uh, what this person is doing to be an enemy to you, but your ancestors and your guides can, and they're telling you repeatedly. Your stomach don't hurt. This ain't a disorder. This ain't panic. This ain't anxiety. This is a negative, negative ass person. Why are you here? Okay, positive outcome for Virgo dealing with this person. Look, drama and completely done immediately. Okay, this is what I mean. I feel like Virgo, as soon as somebody starts causing drama, no more drama in my life. No more dun 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 dun. No more pain. No more pain. Hey. No more tears. Power to manipulate. No more tears. Virgo, this is this is that type of energy. Spirit wants you to be able to see this is not a panic disorder. This is not anxiety. This is not created drama that you're making up in your head. This is not you being dramatic. Okay? This is something you need to be what? Completely done with. This is something that you need to end. End the cycle. Learn the lesson. Come full circle. Okay? And don't allow this person to trick you. Look at this surprise. Surprise, shock. Somebody may be coming up with flowers, okay? <laughs> they may come in your energy with some flowers, with some balloons, you know, with, with some with some little feel goods, okay? Something to make you feel good about them, or make you feel like they're not here with drama and pain, make you feel like they ain't got a switch knife ready to cut you at any moment, that make you feel like they ain't crazy psycho, um, <laughs> a dirty uh, energy sucker here, a vampire. They want to come up in this surprise energy, make you smile, right? But all in reality, this person 
uh, get away, run away together. They may want to take you on a vacation. Don't go anywhere with this person, period. Don't get in the car. Don't go anywhere with this person. Off top, run away together. That don't even sound right. That don't even sound right, Virgo. Run away with an enemy? Hell no. Um, they want to make it sound, they want to make it seem like they're a good person to always be there for you. But I feel like this person is non-committal. Even if they say that they'll be there for you in any kind of way, I'm here if you need me. And when you really need them, Virgo, they won't be there. They're not going to commit to the things that they are saying here. They'll end, it'll end in tragedy, always dealing with this person here. All right. And they want you to be blinded to this. They want you to fall for the energy, all right? That's why they're coming around smiling with flowers and motherfucking drinks or food or uh, love talk here. Because they want you to stay blinded to who they are and what they're fucking doing in your energy here. You may hear a lot from this person. They may be talking constantly. They may be texting you constantly, blowing up your motherfucking phone. You can have zero communication with this person, reconcile with them, and realize that they're doing too much in your energy. Okay, they're doing too much in your energy, taking your time, taking your uh, <laughs> look heartstrings, playing on your heartstrings, entrapment, playing with your feelings. What did I tell you about trapping you? Okay, trying to make you commit to something that they're not committed to. They just want you to be there. They just want you to benefit them. They're living the dream. They're the one benefiting from this trap. Okay, denial. And you may be trying to deny your feelings, Virgo. They're not doing anything outright wrong. They're not saying anything in my energy. They're trying to be a good person. Maybe I'm just going crazy. No, Virgo. Spirit is trying to show you the proof and validation of this shit. Spirit is trying to tell you this. Okay? And they don't want you lost with this person. They don't want you empty. They want you to cut this motherfucker off. I feel like once you cut this person off, they'll be the ones who's lost and empty. Obsessed here. You need to escape this person. Push them away. I feel like they're hiding something from you, Virgo. While all trying to beg and negotiate, staying in your life. Staying in your energy. I'm not doing nothing wrong, Virgo. I haven't done anything wrong to you. Why do you feel this way? Why do you think I'm crazy, deranged? Have I showed you that energy? No, I can feel it. Sneaky profiles. I can't make this up. It's a facade. Sneaky ass character. This may be somebody who you uh, got away from and now they come back with a whole new character, with a whole new facade, trying to, with a whole new playlist. Okay, trying to act like they don't they don't listen to that same music. They're not that same person. Like they don't they don't do those same things. That like they're not out here talking shit about you. Like they like they changed in some type of way. But this is a fake profile behind the scenes. They're hiding from you who they really are and stalking your social media. Extremes harshness cutting off. Yeah, it may be real harsh, but you gotta do to this person. But baby, I, I, arrogance having too much pride being stubborn or holding back virgo i feel like this person may talk a lot of shit about you if you cut them off they may be like nah she arrogant that's her pride that's his pride that's them being stubborn that's them creating drama like nah bro this is me uh, getting away from you this is me fixing myself this is me ending something breaking up with you and ascending to something better fuck you mean this person is definitely pretending can you trust this person again no you can't trust them as far as you can throw them okay you can't trust them as far as you can uh <laughs> i was gonna say something real weird okay i'm not gonna say that you can't trust them um in your energy or out of your energy this is somebody who may be plotting on you as well they two faces as hell Sit around talking about how we're not in competition, how how, the, how we're supposed to be working together, how this is going to be great together. This is somebody who's smiling in your face, and as soon as you turn around, they will stab you in the motherfucking back, Virgo. On God, they do a dance with you, song and dance in your energy, and then as soon as you turn your back, as soon as you're not you're not looking here, they will cut you, cut you, stab you, betray you. This definitely could be a motherfucking twin flame. But a dark one. What did I tell you about this on off with this person? Alright, this could be a false twin flame. Alright, a karmic soulmate. <laughs> uh, somebody is negative as fuck. 
trying to portray that they're like, like, like they're good here. Wanting you to take a gamble, wanting you to uh, take a risk with them, not showing their true hands here. But you can see right through this. All right, you know this is risky. You know this is risky because I feel like Virgo spirit is here, trying to get you to change. All right, let's tap in. Let's see about this tarot. I'm getting out of here, y'all. I don't like this person. I don't like what they're doing in your energy. I don't like the funky ass energy that they brought to my reading in my room here. Okay, like I said, they may not even be doing anything wrong per se, but there's something about the energy. All right. Who is this person for Virgo? Seven of Wands. God damn. Virgo, this is somebody who, um, who you should be protecting yourself against with the Seven of Wands energy, who you should be in defense with, who you should be protecting yourself with. All right. Um, this person is definitely here for conflict. Okay. They're definitely here for the fight, for some bullshit, to bullshit in your energy, start shitting your energy. And this is definitely somebody you need to be on guard against, defend yourself against, protect yourself, your family, your energy against with the seven of wands. This could be somebody that your ancestors and God is blocking out of your energy, Virgo, telling you not to reconcile with this person. Tell me about the seven of wands. Who's this person for Virgo? This could be somebody at one point that you blocked the ace of swords. Found some truth about this person. Or you're going to. What's the truth here? It landed right on top of it. World card. Completion. This could be somebody, Virgo, if you found, if you block this person, okay, if you block this person, um, this could be whatever you need to succeed in ending something with them permanently, okay? This person could also be traveling towards you, okay, with the world card that could be distance between you two. The Ace of Swords, there could be something that, um... Some type of truth that comes out. Okay, they could be wanting to face some type of problem with you. That you two have between each other. So that's why they're putting on this front. Okay, they're putting on this energy. Like they are not who you, they're not who you think they are, Virgo. I'm not that person. I'm not crazy. I'm just trying to work things out with you. World card, I'm just trying to complete something with you. I'm trying to integrate both of us. Somebody wants you to cooperate with them. They want you to integrate them into your life. An energy vampire wants you to integrate them into your life in such a way where they can suckle off of you, get what they need from you, and you're not benefiting from this at all. In fact, it could be draining you. What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? The death card, the page of pentacles. <clears throat> the seven of swords and the three of swords. <laughs> uh, okay. With the death card, Virgo, somebody's trying to change something. I feel like they're trying to transition something into an opportunity for them. Okay, so this is somebody who was like, I'll commit to you. I'll do this. I'll be here. I'll be there. I'll do whatever you need. I'm here, blah, blah, blah. You can trust me. They're trying to transform the way that you see about committing to them, um, letting them in your life or trusting them in some type of way. So then, then you give them the opportunity. You give them um, something that they desire. To, to, and this is to be in your life. But with the seven of swords, this is a lie. 
what did I say? They said they committed. They said they would help you. But when you were actually in the hour of need, Virgo, when you actually need something, this is somebody who will betray you every time, who won't be there for you, who is literally a, a, a hidden enemy in your energy here. And with the three of swords, I feel like it's because they were heartbroken over something that you did or they want to break your heart. I feel like this person that wants to cause you pain because you caused them pain or um, there's something about this person wanting to betray you because of something you did or just just being fucking spiteful here okay because because they in pain that you won't commit to them they want to do this shit they want to they want to try to uh, put on a two-faced energy while they secretly hate you right <laughs> they secretly hate you i feel like this is somebody who really don't fuck with you okay they don't fuck with you how they really say they fuck with you they don't feel like the, the the energy that they say they do about you but they'll tell you that to your face to make you believe them What's the positive outcome for this energy? What's the positive outcome for Virgo dealing with this person? Judgment. <clears throat> I feel like definitely there is something here about your judgment. It keeps happening over and over again. That synchronicity. I feel like they're here to teach you that uh, this is not a mental disorder. This is not you having a bad judgment call, Virgo. This is your intuition. All right. This is this is teaching you about who you amend things with just based off of what they come with. If somebody come back in your life after betraying you, Virgo, and you forgive them, Spirit's like, why did you do that? Okay, I told you to turn the other cheek, not let them back in your house. Positive outcome. Ooh. We got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Positive outcome between Virgo and this person. Another reversal. The three of coins in the reverse, Virgo. So this is the energy of somebody teaching you something, okay? Teaching you about who is really cold, who is really emotionally blocked, who is really not a real fucking lover. They're not a lover. They may come with you with all all types of love. You got me. I love you. I'm here for you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Ace of Cups, but it's, it's, this ain't no real love. This person is emotionally blocked from actually loving you. All right, judgment and the Ace of Cups. Somebody can have like narcissistic behavior. All right, they can be one of those people who can't feel love or dish love here. I forget what that's called. But with the Three of Coins in the reverse, it's talking about group conflict, misalignment, and working on your own. Knowing when to be completely done with something. Knowing when to work uh, work on something on your own. Even if it caused drama. Even if it caused problems. Even if they talk shit about you. Even if they mad at you, Virgo. Fuck them. That's that energy, y'all. That's what I got here for you. Can you trust this person? Save it for the ones in the back. Hell no. You listening out there? Um, somebody is a hidden enemy. You can tell by how you feel when you get away from this person. How what they're doing in your life here. The words that are in the rhetorics that they are saying to you. This is somebody who really, 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 really wants you to trust them. All right. This is somebody who really, 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 uh, talking a whole bunch of shit. Will write a whole paragraph about how you should trust them and how they're not who they think you are. Or how how they're not who you think they are who how they're not who you think they are look at me stumbling over my words uh, this i can't even say the fucking lie that this person is saying okay it's that type of energy um uh, spirit wants you to know that it is okay for you to be completely done and work on your own with things even if this cause people to look at you like uh you're betraying them even if it causes more problems uh for this person or a, a group of people um it, it is the best thing for you here eight of eight of coins will work out in your favor to end this shit with this person six of coins you'll receive something virgo four of wands You'll receive something here that you may have been missing by cutting this person off. All right, this is some type of illusion, uh, an illusion made by a wounded person, Virgo. And I feel like they want to isolate you. They want to isolate you in this in this uh, commitment energy. Like they'll commit with you. But five of wands, this is all rivalry. This is all competition. This is this is a part of the fight here, Virgo. 
Yeah, this person wants to come and hang you up here. They want to be in your energy. They want to manifest in your energy. They want to suckle off your energy. They want to get what they want without actually giving you anything here. And this is not the person for you. This is what I got here for you, Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.